Hello, my name is Dr. Lee Miller. I'm the Extension Turf Grass Pathologist at the University of Missouri. Today we're going to talk about spring lawn care tips. It is too late to fertilize your lawn if you have tall fescue, and it's too early to fertilize your lawn if you have zoysia grass. The reason being is zoysia grass is affected by a disease called large patch, which is active now in many areas, particularly in St. Louis. On the flip side of that, for tall fescue, you can encourage brown patch if you fertilize now with nitrogen. Brown patch is a disease that infects tall fescue lawns during the hot, stressful months of summer. Um, it will occur, as the name applies, in patches. Um, around the outside of patches will be a characteristic um, tan lesion that has a brown margin on the leaf blade. Large patch is actually the kissing cousin of brown patch, and the pathogens are very related. However, large patch infects zoysia grass. If you do have dandelions or other weeds in your lawn now, it's vital that you don't apply a weed and feed product. Otherwise, you will be encouraging disease outbreaks during the summer. However, you can use standalone herbicide products such as Weed Be Gone or Weed Be Gone Max or Trimac, um, any of the three-way combination products. The goals of our research program are to control and prevent large patch and brown patch, our two major lawn disease problems in Missouri. One way to limit brown patch with irrigation is not to apply irrigation during the day. Instead, try to apply in the morning. If you do it during the heat of the day, you actually are giving moisture to the brown patch pathogen and allowing it to actively infect the grass. On the flip side of that, if you water at night, you actually are starting the moisture event. Missouri is in a very um, unique region of the United States that we're in the transition zone. Our motto is we can grow any grass we want to, we just can't grow any of them very well. 